What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Since I'm about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in this video here today and talking about the more specifically the net the Netflix Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie that we got earlier this year and the rumor now that apparently there's some sequels that Netflix is interested in doing a couple of them in fact. So just to talk about that in this video mostly. So the rumor apparently is that Netflix again wants to do a couple of sequels to David Blue Garcia's Texas Chainsaw sequel that he released earlier this year that or that was released earlier this year rather uh, through the streaming platform and apparently this film was a hit for netflix according to blue according to the bloody disgusting article that i read before recording this now in the past from what i recall david himself has expressed that he has ideas that he'd love to pitch if legendary wanted to do another movie he's also referenced the film's post credit scene when we see leatherface return to the house from the original movie and in specific he just mentions some brainstorming that he had going on but nothing too too specific other than that now, apparently this rumor itself is coming from the Monster Palooza convention, which is also where fans were able to learn about Nev Campbell not returning from Scream 6 as she was disclosing information there. So I guess maybe there if you want to if because that ended up being true, if you want to use that as a reason to believe this, then go go for it, I guess. <laughs> so apparently Mark Burham, who played Leatherface in the recent Netflix, uh, who played Leatherface in the recent Netflix movie, he appeared at the convention and I guess he was with one of the producers from the movie also. And they allegedly told fans that Netflix has ordered two more movies. Now, I guess we could do a sequel with Elsie Fisher's. Uh, I think her character's name was Lila, one of the sisters returning to revenge her sister. If her, if that sister actually died, because I know I've seen some people speculate that that was just a dream, but I doubt that. So the biggest sin for me coming out of that movie was the treatment of Sally Hardesty, how that character was handled and, you know, just how you had this final girl character who was returning in like, I guess you could say in a lot of ways, like a Laurie Strode type of way, Halloween 2018 type of stuff, but completely watered down and a lot more useless in the sense that, you know, it's been a lot of time in this one moment where she's interacting with Leatherface, clearly doesn't remember her, and she seems obsessed now more than ever with getting Leatherface to remember her. And it's like, bro, why don't you just get out of here and go home? This has nothing to do with you. And not only that, that moment in and of itself, I think is kind of like a slap in the face to even the person I would say writing the movie. Like you're admitting that she has no purpose here. So why is she here? And then again, not being able to accept, I guess, that Leatherface doesn't remember her or killing her friends. She goes out of her way to try to force Leatherface to remember her and she dies for her efforts. And one of the most stupidest deaths I've seen this year for a legacy character in a horror movie. So I know a lot of people like to talk about Dewey Riley in Screen 5. No, 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 no. Sally Hardesty is treated like complete trash here. She, again, there is no real importance to her from Leatherface doesn't remember her that moment where she's trying so desperately to get him to remember her is completely cringe and then they have the audacity to kill her in that manner and it's like well, honestly the death in and of itself it's fitting for how she was treated in the movie she gets thrown in the literal trash <laughs> and I'm like bro that's how you were treated so I guess it is fitting in a way it's still just a complete like slap in the face to that character and if anything again in a lot of ways it's admitting in your own script she has no purpose here she's just here because she's been obsessed with the character of Leatherface for all these years and you know now's her chance you know the chance doesn't go to her liking so it's like okay and I know a lot of fans weren't picturing this in their head when they were having Sally Hardesty come back to the franchise so when it pertains to what we could do in a sequel Again, if you want to have Lila come back and somehow construct a narrative in which she's trying to avenge her sister's death, you could do that. Set the movie in the house from the original Toad Pooper film. That's something I know a lot of people would love to see because that post credit scene where we see him returning to the house, that was like probably my favorite moment. I still... I still myself don't think that the movie really was all that good in the sense that it wasn't it wasn't completely terrible it also just wasn't that good I think I ended up giving it a six out of ten I just felt like you know that sister dynamic that was there it wasn't explored enough to the point where okay we could get invested in them uh as much as the movie probably wanted us to be 
because they have these moments where they're trying to show that they have a you have a good bond and it's it's never really those moments never really are living up to the potential that they seem to have there because that sister dynamic there's clearly some magic going on but the magic i feel like was never fully fulfilled so i guess if you bring back lila you can have her of course being sad about her sister's demise we could spend more time learning about her because i think she also was dealing with like some post-traumatic some ptsd from like a school shooting or something i think was going on in the movie with her so maybe we could see some more of that and see some more of this ptsd because she's had another thing to stack that onto flesh that out a little bit more see her grow stronger how she ends up going back getting involved with leatherface i do not know i don't know why anyone would go back to this area after what just happened to their sister other than of course if they try to tell us in a in a, a type of revenge narrative like i've talked about where you have lila hunting leatherface you could probably set this a few years in the future too just to try to like combat the fact that of course this girl as it stands right now i don't think anyone's going to take her as a believable threat against leatherface as she is now in the current state of things but maybe she spends a couple of years away from that area and decides now in her early adulthood oh i'm going to return to this place leatherface could still be wreaking havoc she returns to this place goes to that original house original farmhouse and has an encounter with leatherface she could bring some backup with her if she wants to that's again assuming they do a narrative in which they focus on lila trying to avenge her sister's death some of you might want to see something different you probably don't want to see lila back you probably i know a lot of you probably don't even want any sequels to this at all whatsoever because a couple of sequels i'm like eh, what could you really do with this outside of of course just constructing now new narratives each time and the only thing that remains constant is leatherface which is fine we have plenty of series like that friday the 13th most importantly coming to mind right now but i just feel like you know a lot of people also were let down by this movie so i also can see how sure you got a lot of attention during the movie but because again apparently had good ratings for netflix during the earlier time of its release uh but as far as like some people being satisfied with the movie a lot of people were dissatisfied and probably don't want to see anything from this series again so let me know what you guys think about this rumor down in the comment section below do you hope it's true do you hope it's not true if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and this video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts on so facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me see any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video